we're in this room again. What's up everyone, it's Sai here from Audio Plugin Deals, and today we're going to look at my top favourite music production tools of 2019. Let's get right to it. Tower Noisemaker is a software synthesizer plugin. Uh, it was actually introduced to me during a university paper that I did, and I ended up liking it so much that I'm now using it extensively on my upcoming solo EP. Noisemaker is pretty versatile for a free plugin. It gives us two main oscillators to work with, uh, with a basic set of waveforms for each one, and a basic set of controls. It also gives us a square wave sub oscillator. Let me just turn that down. And, you know, for a free plugin, the sound quality is excellent. I'd highly recommend checking Noisemaker out, especially if you're starting to learn about synthesis. You can see just how versatile it is through some of the factory presets that we have. We even, we even have some percussion samples to work with, if I can find them. Uh, yes, here we go. So I highly recommend checking Noisemaker out. Spitfire Labs is a stunning collection of free virtual instruments from the team at Spitfire Audio, and it's constantly updated with new content. A bunch of these are obscure, for instance the Amplified Cello Quartet, and the Charango, and you know, the Moon Guitar, but some of these are incredibly useful. Uh, for instance, the Labs Soft Piano is quite popular. And more recently, the lab strings. I should put some reverb on that. In fact, the strings even have a uh, short patch. They have a really nice close mic sound. 
These tools are obviously limited if you compare them to their expensive and professional counterparts, but these have still been used by professional full-time composers because of their sound quality, so I highly recommend looking into these. Okay, so now we move on to Helm, which is another software synthesizer, but this one's a serious step up from Noisemaker, which we looked at first. In fact, I'm yet to fully get the hang of using this thing, but the point is it's absolutely packed with features. We've got two main oscillators that can be configured to play in a, with a variety of waveforms. Um, we've got a customizable sub-oscillator this time, um, as well as a bunch of modulation features. Three LFOs, three envelopes, um, a step sequencer, and even a decent sized effects rack. The best part is, any of these parameters down the bottom can be mapped to literally any other parameter on the synth with great ease. Um, you know, if, if we wanted to map out LFO to the filter cutoff, we just need to hit one of these buttons um, and then I basically select the range at which this LFO operates. So now this LFO is mapped to the filter cutoff as we can see with this green, um, green shaded area here. And if we play our synth, you know, we could have a second LFO to, oops, to control the distortion. Because why not? This allows for some crazy chaining. We can use the mod wheel, we can map the mod wheel to the, to the LFO frequency which controls the uh, filter cutoff or you know the distortion, whatever you want. It's absolutely insane and the best part is Helm is completely open source. So you know, if you're an experienced developer, you can take upon the code and modify it, although I'm not sure if anyone's done that yet. Um, the developer does accept voluntary donations as well if you want to support the project. So yeah, I highly recommend checking out Helm. Okay, now VSCO Community Edition is a free 3 gigabyte orchestral library from Vesalian Studios. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't have super high hopes for this library when I first heard about it, but when I downloaded it and played around with it, I was actually pretty impressed with the sound quality. I've picked out six random patches to quickly demo. Um, let me show you what I mean.
Now this library does have paid editions, but the free community edition gives us so much to work with already. Maybe you're just starting out in the world of orchestral composition, or maybe you just want some orchestral sounds for a song that you've been working on. Whatever the case, this one's definitely worth checking out. Sometimes you might be looking for a more lo-fi or vinyl vibe. For that, I'd highly recommend Isotope's free vinyl plugin. Um, it lets you add certain aesthetical artifacts and imperfections to your music. Vinyl crackles, scratches, mechanical noise, and even a pitch warping effect. Let me show you. I've got a simple piano improv here, which, I've, which I just recorded. Um, and I'm going to slowly bring in some of these effects to make it sound sort of more lo-fi or vintage. Let's see what we can do. Pretty cool, right? Now you've probably heard of Native Instruments' massive, complete collection. Well, they actually have a small free edition that has around 6 gigabytes of content. Soft synthesizers, sampled instruments, a couple of effects, and a pretty massive library of loops. It's called Complete Start. There isn't, a, uh, there isn't enough time to go through absolutely everything in this collection, but I've picked out three uh, instruments to quickly demo. First we have Kinetic Treats, which is a contact-based sample instrument that plays with samples of children toys. <laughs>
Next up we have the Play Series Collection, which is a series of hybrid syn synthetic instruments. And finally, we have a reactor-based synth micro prism, which runs on the free reactor 6 player, which also comes with complete start.
there's so much more on Complete Start, I highly recommend downloading it and checking it out. This is a free drum kit library by a guy called Stephen Slate, who has gained much popularity in the music production world. Uh, once again, there is a paid edition of this library uh, called Stephen Slate Drums 5, but this, this version, the Stephen Slate Drums 5 free edition, is a free version of the library. Um, it comes with one single drum kit and it sounds amazing. It also comes with a series of MIDI loops uh, in the Grooves tab. Um, we can test these right here. We can drag any of these into our session at any time. Uh, just like that. And we can even edit, the, edit these grooves if we so wish. And they sound pretty great. So as you can see, the sound is pretty crisp and very high quality. Uh, the kit feels versatile too, although I'd, I'd imagine it definitely shine in a pop or rock context. We also have a good level of control over the drum mapping, um, and also the drum mix. The best part, Steven Slate Drums Free has no commercial restrictions, so you're free to download this and use this in any way you want to. This one's super amazing, um, i definitely recommend this to anyone. This next one is a free piano library, and I've actually reviewed it before as part of my top free pianos video from ages ago. Um, in fact, you already heard this piano with my Isotope vinyl demo from just before. This is a great free piano library, and it comes with five patches, uh, and the default one is probably my favourite sound of the library, but I'll show you all of them.
Alongside these patches, the developers have also given us some envelope controls, a built-in reverb, some detune, a volume knob, um, and even a cool little LFO which we can map to. Ah, oh, let's yeah, let's go expression. Why not? So if you're on a budget and you need some good piano sounds, I think this is the library to get. Okay, now this is a suite of plugins, and it was actually developed by one of my university lecturers, Michael Norris. Uh, it's probably the most unique and specialized software on this list, and sadly, it only runs on Mac. But I've chosen to include it because it explores an entirely new Sonic world. Some of the demos on the official website really show this. Uh, right here I have a source sound file, which sounds like this. And the following 23 examples show how this sound file has been completely changed in nature. Completely, you know, processed, turned up, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let, let me show you what I mean. Sounds nuts, right? But not only that, we've got stuff like this. And stuff like this. stuff like this. But enough of that, let's actually test out some of these plugins. So I've got a piano loaded up, you know, Keyzone Classic does the job, um, and I'm going to go ahead and quickly record a fast, clunky sounding piano arpeggio. Super clunky, but it'll do the job. Now I'm going to grab this plugin, the Spectral Drone, drone Maker. Um, yeah, let's just enable it and see what it does to our arpeggio.
That sounds absolutely nuts, doesn't it? And there's tons of parameters um, on this thing, and I don't even know what all of them do. Um, so I'm just going to try and fiddle around with them as I show you these. Uh, yeah, let's let's try out this one, Gate and Hold. This one's one of my favorites. Now let's try the Spectral Shimmer, which is one of my favorites, especially when I combine it with you know, heavy reverb. I'm just going to bring this down a bit, and let's test it out. But you know what? Let's let's be a bit adventurous. Let's try and chuck a delay on here. There's honestly so much sonic material to explore with these tools, and remember we can apply these onto our existing audio recordings as well to completely change their nature. So if you have access to a Mac, this collection is, com is definitely worth checking out. The last item on this list is actually one that keeps changing, so for that reason I won't showcase it. but. Every month, Audio Plugin Deals partners up with developers to feature their music software on the store for free. This means that every month you'll be able to download a different tool that could help with your music production. To stay up to date on these, you can sign up to the Audio Plugin Deals newsletter right here. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoy using these free musical tools in your projects, and I'll see you next time.